Hi friends, today I am going to speak about on the topic human rights. I hope this speech is helpful for you. The International Convent on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights that came into existence in 1976 was signed by 164 countries by the end of 2016. The convent safeguards and gives a boost to human rights that include the basic human right to work in an objective and unbiased work environment, the right to education and freedom to observe social and culture festives, the freedom to encourage scientific discoveries and advancement of technology, the right to a basic standard of living related to the highest level of physical and mental stability. In, there are human rights of our religion, place of birth. All of us are entitled to the same basic rights and freedom. Human rights do not form a part of pilgrimage. They cannot be allowed or nullified by a certain privileged section of the society. They are unimpeachable and should never be challenged by any court of law in any country, whatever. Although it sounds fair and just, implementing basic human rights can be often challenging even for the most competent government. The struggle for rights, justice and rightfulness dates back to a few countries all over the world. United Nations that merged from the from from the was the first organization that took cognizance of the struggle for human rights. The countries that formed United Nations came forward to faith in basic fundamental human rights. In nineteen forty eight, the UN General Assembly declared a universal declaration of basic human rights. The document was formulated by a committee headed by the chairperson. The principle of human rights is based on 30 articles documented in the universal declaration. Scenario of human rights in India India was among the founding members of the United Nations in 1945. India has been the member of UN Security Council for seven terms. Currently, India, under the able leadership of the Prime Minister Narendra Modi, has also become a part of Economic Social Council of United Nations. Justice D.S. Bhandari is one of the judge at the United Nations Court of Justice. Some of the basic Primarily, primarily human rights in India include all human beings are born free and equal and should be treated with equal dignity and rights. Principle of non-discrimination. Right to life, liberty and security. Right to freedom of movement and freedom from a life of torture like slavery. Slavery. Why it is challenging to implement human rights? If human rights principles are so well developed, why on earth they are violated by impunity each time? Why is it that human rights are ignored and abused in most of the countries? Over the decade, we have grown to understand and expand our understanding of human rights and implement them in a much improved manner. However, the United Nations Human Rights Compilation is still a declaration and not a hand law. The United Nations has the authority to address the investigator human rights violation case of any nation. However, lacks a concrete mechanism to enforce compensation to the victim or make the government change its policy. There are the conclusion of human rights is human rights in india is little pre 
relaxing owing to his rapidly growing economy and complicated social structure in a country with 1.3 billion of residents it's quite a bit of challenge to protect human rights the demanding activists together with the current government has taken up the task of providing every citizen with the basic right to housing society housing security and socio economic freedom that has long been denied to the lower backward classes india is on the right track of empowering every citizen of the country by providing them access to unbiased human rights